everyone, Emmanuel here. So I make a ton of websites. And over time, I've learned a couple of tools that will make it a lot easier uh, for you to work on your client's websites through Chrome browser extensions. Now, I'm gonna share with you the best ones that I found that have helped my workflow and made everything super easy for me. So let's go ahead and get started with the first one. So sometimes, uh, for a customer's website or for your own portfolio, you might want to take a before and after picture of the website that you're creating or uh, of a website that you want to use for inspiration. So it's really useful to be able to take a full page screenshot of that website. So here I have Adobe's website and you know, if you do a normal screenshot, you can capture you know this part of the website right here. But what if you wanted to capture the entire page just to have it as reference or for your portfolio or to send it to a customer, whatever the case may be. So the plugin that I like to use is called Go Full Page and it's this one right here. It looks just like this, this icon. Uh, and when you use it, let me show you, it takes a full page screenshot of that website. So it loads up the screenshot just like this. And here we have our entire screenshot. So we can see that it captures the whole page. Uh, it captures it in really, really high quality and you can save it or even uh, save it as a PDF if you want to. So if you need to take a really large screenshot of an entire website, which I do a lot of the time, amazing extension for that. The next thing I have to do all the time is customers want me to use the same color that they see on a different website. Um, so a lot of times I want to find out what color is being used on a website. And uh, the tool that I use for that is called Colorzilla. It looks just like this. And the way it works is you get this little dropper tool and you click it and you get, uh, you can even save the colors that you, that you uh, look through, but you pretty much click, pick a color from page and it's gonna load up this tool and then you can just drag your mouse to any part of the website. So for example, if I wanted to know what shade of blue this button was, I could hover my mouse right over it and click it and it's gonna copy the color code to my clipboard. Same thing goes for any other color on the website. I can click here the dropper tool, click on like this shade of purple in particular. It's gonna tell me the color code and copy it to my clipboard and then you can save it and use it on any part of, of the project that you're working on. So it's really nice and really easy to be able to save colors on websites that you're working on. Another thing that clients ask me all the time is to use the same font that they saw on a different website. So for example, here I'm on Uber's website and if I wanna find out what font they're using, usually it's pretty difficult to do. You have to go into inspect element and check the code and see uh, if the name of the font is on there. Um, but there's a tool called What Font that makes it really simple to do and the great thing is that once you click it, uh, you can hover over any part of the website and it will show you the name of the font. In this case, it's a custom font. And if you click on any uh, text on the page, it'll give you more details. So the font is called Uber Move. The thickness is 500. You can see the font size, the line height, and the color that it was done in. Now, this might not be such a great example since I have a custom font, which obviously would be hard to copy. Um, but if you come to Adobe, for example, and we pull up the same tool, we can see what font they're using. Also a custom font. Okay, let's just do my website. Uh, and if we look up this font, okay, cool. You can see that I'm using railway. You can see that thickness is 600, uh, the weight is 600, the size is 60, line height, and the color that I use, and an example of what the font looks like. So it's a really great tool, so you can know uh, what font is being used on a website. Uh, you can also check um, you know, what fonts it's being combined with. So for example, I have this written here in Roboto 300. Uh, it also gives you the size, line height, color, everything you need to know to make the font on the website you're working on look exactly the same as the uh, what you're copying it from. Another thing that's really useful is um, when I'm doing a website redesign, a lot of the time images will be on that website. And in the past, I would have to go and save every individual image to my computer and then upload it to the redesigned version of the website. Uh, but there's a really cool extension from Chrome called Image Downloader. And if you click it, it will actually pull up every image on the website and you can uh, just select them and go downloading all the ones that you need. So it's a really easy way to grab a ton of images from a website that you're working on. It saves you a ton of time on the download process, uh, especially when you're working on a redesign or you need to gather images from uh, any website. Likewise, sometimes you need to grab a video from an existing website and the plugin that I like to use for that is called the Video Downloader Professional. And if you click it, it automatically detects that there's a video file on that website that you can download and it will give you the option to just click download and you can save that video file. So these are extensions that I use all the time. They seem really simple, but they're actually super useful. 
I'm going to leave links in the description to all these extensions so you can grab them for yourself. And let me know if there's any extension that I missed that you use all the time and I'll check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and have a great day.